Hey, what up, Shedheads? I'm your host with the Man Bone and the Big Guns. I'm here to <clears throat> show you guys the drawings that took me the longest and the drawings that nearly broke me. Talking like made me want to quit art. Broke me. <laughs> this drawing here took me so long that I actually had to stop drawing it for a little while. I had to take like a two week break from doing it just because of how annoyed I was getting. Just because of just how how hurt my hand was, my head, just everything about me hurt by the time I was almost finished with this and I just wanted to stop. So I just kept stopping and stopping and stopping and this drawing took me so long that I don't even know if it was even worth it because oh my god the amount of pain that my wrist went through for this one. Oh boy. This drawing right here actually took me so long I had to draw it days in advance for Inktober. This was for day 15 outpost for uh, 2020's Inktober. And I spent so long in this that I had to draw it like like three days in advance just because of how long it took me to draw. But this was a outpost for Inktober 2020. I think it looks pretty good, but oh my god. Did I want to stop drawing after this? And the thing is, afterwards, I still had to make a drawing every single day. So in addition to this piece, I had to keep on drawing for for uh, the next days on top of that. And uh, just because uh, I haven't done it yet because I was working on this piece first before I did the one for uh, day 14. <laughs> this next piece, oh my gosh, I, I hate how this one turned out because I spent so, I spent 12 hours on this piece in uh, two sessions. One was like 10 hours, one was 2 hours, and I spent a really long time, 12 full hours on this, and oh my god, I do not like how the composition looks at all, you can barely tell what it is, but holy crap, did I put some time into this one. <laughs> this sketchbook probably has around two or 300 hours alone in, put into it, oh my gosh. If I were to consecutively fill this sketchbook with the drawings that are in it, I would probably die because <laughs> oh my god these took me forever to do yeah I think this one I think this one took 12 hours I think this is Starscream if I'm not mistaken I think this is Starscream from Transformers and this was all in one session this was a full one 12 hour session and I it looks terrible <laughs> I don't know why I put that much black into it. I should not have done that at all. That was a big mistake on my part, but I just kept wanting to fill in more and more details, but obviously sometimes that doesn't always work out in your favor. This one I hate because I got the proportions all wrong, and I hate that I did that. I don't even know who this is anymore. I don't remember, but this is some sort of transformer that I spent how much time? I think it was... 15 hours, yeah, 15 hours for this one, and I, I hate how this one turned out. You could barely even tell where his face is or how it's proportionate to the rest of his body. It just doesn't look very good at all. It's more, more, the, the more I tried to fill the sketchbook out, the more I told myself, I gotta put in more detail, I gotta do more, I gotta up, up my game up. Now I'm starting to look back and think, maybe I shouldn't have upped my game up that much. Because, oh boy, did I burn myself out with this sketchbook. I put so much work into the sketchbook alone that, honestly, I should just stop drawing at this point. Because, oh boy, my hands started to hurt by the time I was almost finished. I was like, why am I even doing this at this point? <laughs> this was a little uh, ZHC thing I did for the his little character, but I did it based off a of Swamp Thing. Instead of his character as a reference, that's why it looks more like Swamp Thing, but I don't know, I try to make it look like ZHC, you know, all comic art style. I like doing comic art, I like doing comic style a lot. I think it's really relaxing, it just, boy, it doesn't take a while. So we got two in a row here. It, these two were for Inktober of 2020, and on it, and they, they were just torture. Just, draw, drawing is torture. <laughs> I just uh, couldn't handle the pain doing this. I kind of just went for it and drew days in advance. That way, I would that way I would get to take breaks for Inktober, just because of all the work that I put into it. 
I couldn't be doing this every single day. I had to take some breaks, but I wanted it to be my first full successful Inktober. So what I would do is I would draw days in advance. So here's uh, day 9 and uh, day 10 for Inktober. And I'm not very good at drawing backgrounds. I believe I've told you guys this before. I am just really bad at composition. I really wish that I could get better. Yeah, this is me practicing more composition and backgrounds. This was a cool piece. I like this one. This was uh, a reel I did on my Instagram. This one I did while I was drunk. It took me like five hours. And I was drinking whiskey at the time. And I was uh, reading The Hobbit at the time as well. And it got me thinking about books because of Inktober. So... Uh, the prompt was Dune, and it made me think of the book Dune, so that's why I drew uh, the monster from the cover in my own little comic style. I think it looks pretty good, but oh boy, did I need some more drinks after this one, because <laughs> oh boy, did my hand hurt after that. <laughs> These were the drawings that completely broke me, both my spirit and my, well not bones, but spirit. <laughs> drawings were so hard to make and sometimes when I finish a project like this I wonder why I'm doing it if I'm not doing it for money but you know any real artist would know that you don't do it for the money you well really it's up to you what you do it for as long as it's not for the money sometimes I'll get all up in my own head and I'll just completely overdo it when it comes to a project and sometimes that's not for my benefit most of the time it's not for my benefit looking forward when i'm watching this video in the future i want future me to know to take breaks just just take breaks dude stop drawing 12 hours at a time six hours at a time 13 hours at a time just take a break dude take a couple days off every now and then come on you guys for watching uh hope you guys are having a beautiful day stay safe stay sober red rover and i'll see you guys later thank you guys for tuning in the shed show and uh that's not my outro anymore see you